This is the Stanford Histocompatibility Immunogenetics and Disease Profiling Lab. And our mission is to provide the highest quality, most informative, state-of-the-art histocompatibility information to the transplant physicians and surgeons uh, so that they can go forward with transplantation and they can manage their patients well post-transplant with the information of, regarding compatibility. One of the things that we've done is we've invented, Ji Chen in the lab has invented, a new technology called C1Q uh, antibody testing. This particular platform that he's developed allows us to not only know that the patient has antibody to their donor either before transplant or after transplant, but also to determine the kind of antibody that is. Our research mainly focuses on the mechanism of antigen or donor specific immunity. Our goal is trying to develop a in vitro uh, system for monitoring donor specific immunity in transplantation recipients. We're fortunate to work with this Easter Comedy Lab. Not only they provide us high quality and consistent testing, but they think outside of the box and they brought us new testing, which I think is very important in this day and age where the sensitivity of text, the testing is, is, uh, is increasing and we have to find clinical relevance. Purchase the C1Q in our hands with the desensitization is helping us to kind of delineate which antibodies could be harmful or not and then be able to proceed with the transplant in a safer way. Another assay that we've developed at Stanford, which we feel is really key to helping the physicians and the surgeons understand whether or not to go forward with a transplant, is what we call the DSA flow cross match. The DSA flow cross match is both a shorter method, so it gives a faster answer, reduces the cold ischemia time. It gives you a more specific answer, so you know exactly what the nature of the reaction is. And it gives you a definitive answer in terms of whether you can go forward with transplant or not. I study the role of the HLA receptors and their relationship with natural killer cell receptors and modulating the immune response and how that affects transplant outcome. This lab is very special in that there is a number of people here with great talent in next generation sequencing. The platforms for doing the analysis exist here and so there's like there's a real synergy of knowledge and resources to be able to do this work here. And we've developed ourselves different assays for both looking at uh, specific gene um, coding regions and then slicing those together, piecing those together, and then doing a genotype analysis on that. But then we have a second tier analysis we developed for whole genome, I mean whole gene sequencing where we're able to get just the coding and the non-coding regions, and that could have a huge impact also on donor matching and transplantation outcome as well. Marcelo fernandez Vina is another one of the co-directors of our laboratory, and he is a global expert in HLA gene sequences and polymorphism. And his particular area of expertise is in bone marrow and stem cell transplantation and in performing uh, global searches for patients who have very difficult to match uh, HLA types where it looks like no one in the world is a match. In these days, uh, we type uh, patients and donors but by technologies that allow us to, per uh, to achieve high resolution testing. And these are done by uh, the common methods of uh, nucleotide sequencing that allow us to test certain segments of the HLA gene. 
We have recently embarked in uh, investigating uh, novel technologies. This would be the so-called next generation sequencing methods that allow us to get ma uh, massive sequences where we can actually get full eight coverage of all the uh, of all the coding and non-coding segments of the HLA genes and we can really have a more accurate uh, evaluation of the HLA types of the patients and donors. The future of this lab is very exciting, very, very exciting, because we already have novel technologies in the pipeline that are almost ready to be marketed, which are going to totally change the paradigm for how we look at cellular immunity, how you assess that in a transplant setting, how you assess that in disease susceptibility, and also to look at drug resistance in, um, in patients who are, for example, transplant patients where the physicians need an answer today, but the methods that are available right now take weeks to get an answer for. I'm most proud of the quality and extent of information that we provide to the clinical services it, so that they can do their best job at treating the patients with the most state-of-the-art information and the highest quality uh, results.